Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger, and today I'm going to take a look at another champion and do a build. It's Jax. Uh, started at blue buff, going to go top and see if we can get a little gank off. It's not going to be successful, but typically, uh, you can do decent ganks top because at level 1, I do like to take his counter-strike, which uh, is that dodge and the stun. And it can be nice, obviously, for a level 2 gank uh, top. You're just able to stun him in place, so if you have another champion up top who's got a stun, or if Darius is up there now and he has a rake, you can do a little bit of a stun. When they start to run again, you can do a rake. You can pick a pretty easy kill up. Um, so that's why I take Counter Strike at level 1. Then obviously at level 2, after I kill Blue Buff, I take Leap Strike, so I'm able to Leap Strike to their champion to do that and get the stun off. So, there's that for you. Level 3, I do take his Empower, so I have all three of my abilities uh, early in the game, and I'm able to use them all, so that is nice to have. Uh, at level 1, I did go with the traditional uh, cloth armor and pots here. I'm going to move in on the brand with our cannon. I'm going to jump to him, get the stun off on him. It's going to get him in place. Um, he's ignited. That one more poke from cannon is going to do it as well. I'm going to get low because I got ignited and because of brand's passive. So, uh, kind of close, but I'll take the assist. You got to take some chances as a jungler. Don't just always hang out in your jungle. Um, that's not really helping anyone, and you will fall behind because you will lose out on precious experience from ganking and getting kills. Here I come bottom for a gank, but nothing's going to happen. Um, which will happen, that nothing happens. Oh, and then I'm going to die here because, yeah, four people run like hell. But that's going to happen. Anyways, now that I am back at base, I will continue to purchase items. I ended up getting uh, first start off my boots, and I got the Vampiric Scepter. Uh, it's going to just help me stay alive in the jungle for the most part while I keep jungling. I'm going to get blue buff again, because Kenan doesn't need it. And blue buff is awesome on Jax. But I like to play Jax in the jungle. He is pretty good um, in top lane as well, depending on who you're against, and just depending on your play style. I personally like to play him in the jungle, because I think he's a really good ganker because of that leap strike and that stun. You can move to a champion quite quickly. And I just got a kill there off of Ali, so that's going to help me as well. But, like I was saying, he's great ganker. Um... And he is decently tanky, um, but not like tanky tanky. Now I know some people do like to build him tankier than I'm going to. Typically in my builds, you see me not build much health items. I like to just build damage. That's just kind of how I like to th play things. Um, I know a lot of people then try to explain to me that why they build so much uh, health items, but that's fine. I'm, you don't have to justify how you build or why you build different. That's fine. I'm just putting up how I like to build and how it works for me. So... Gonna go bottom here, um, try to scare Jin off of the tower. Gonna pick up an assist on that because Sion got his stun off after I got my stun off. So that's gonna be nice. Um, I haven't said it yet, but I will. Uh, Sion's got a great passive. We're getting into a really interesting fight here. Sion's got a cool, or Sion, I'm not talking about Sion. Jax. Jax is a sweet passive, his uh, relentless assault. Uh, he gets a passive attack speed uh, up to six times. Um, when he is basic attacking. So uh, you get increased attack speed, which is very, very nice to have, because later, with his ultimate, which I have already, um, he has a passive on that, where every third attack grants you magic damage. So, or some additional magic damage. And then obviously the rest of his ultimate is the uh, magic resist and the armor, and then it's also scaled off of the, your current um, attack damage and your current uh, ability power. So that's decently tanky there as well, which is another reason why I don't really feel like I need to build much health on him. Um, so I did finish off my lantern that last time. I did just finish off my boots. I went with Ninja Tabby this game. They got a handful of AD, so I'm going to just try to negate some of that that way. Other than that, Merc Treads would be great. I'm going to jump in here and focus on that brand, but he's going to flash, so I'm going to move over to this vein. I got to get pushed back by her. Um, I'm going to jump and leap strike to her real quick and finish her off. Now I'm going to try to go over to this Alistair and see where he's going to go. He's going to try to juke me, but I'm going to not fall for that and leap strike back to him. I'm going to start my counter strike back up, and that is just going to be enough to barely finish him. And Bran started running back at me, and if I would have maybe took a little tower damage, maybe would have been able to leap strike to him, but that's all right. I'll go up here and I'll help my team take dragon, 190 gold. Don't forget to take dragon, obviously, and remember the timer when you can go back and do it again. I am not using my placeable ward right now. I don't know why I'm not. It's probably because I'm not thinking about it. Or I'm not worried about it. It could be that too. Also, last time while I was back, I did start building towards a sheen. I do have the amplifying tone part of it and the mana for it as well. I'm going to go finish that off. I like to get that right away because you're able to use Jax's Empower so often that, and all of his other abilities, they're all on decently low cooldowns um, besides Counter-Strike. But 
you can just proc the sheen all the time, which is great. So just being able to put out some of that extra damage is going to be fantastic. I'm going to retreat here a little bit and go back because of that Brand alt and his passive fire damage. Um, just finished off the Sheen, and I got a Zeal as well, building towards my first main big item, which is going to be a Trinity Force. Obviously, just a great overall, great rounded item. I'm going to get a little bit of AP, which will help my ratios on a few of my... Um, a few of my abilities, obviously a little more attack damage, gonna get that passive slow, gonna get attack speed, gonna get everything. It's the training force. Um, Ken's getting chased here. I'm gonna finish blue though before it just resets. I'm gonna try to get in here and get in the way. I'm gonna try to get over to this vein. Luckily, Fiora shows up right in the lick of time and she's doing great damage. You saw Vane just explode there. Um, now we're gonna work on this Alistair. I'm gonna jump to him, leak strike, do some other stuff, and get the kill on him, which is gonna be great. Fun stuff. I'm going to go back to base now. I'm going to pick up part of the phage that will be going towards the uh, Trinity Force. And I should probably start texting on my phone and keep doing this video. I'm going to go take Red Buff again because Red Buff's great. Uh, Fiora just got another kill. That's awesome. I'm going to move in here. I'm going to try to focus their AP carry. I'm going to try to jump over here to Brand and just get him stunned. And going to just hit him one more time and kill him after he just stunned me. Stupid alt, but that's not going to jump too far. And I'm going to come back over here and help out the, the team kill Allie. And, uh, yeah. That is going to be... Oh, I get to kill, too. That's always pleasant. And that's going to be an ace. We're going to move up here real quick, too, and take Baron while they're all dead. Smart move to go get a... Er, not early Baron, but go get Baron. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I say early Baron because I see some teams, like, refuse to take Baron till 18. I like try to convince my team to go take it, and they're like, it's too soon! I'm like, you can take this at level 8 if you're coordinated. Um, but yeah, Baron. Got it. The buff, everything. Uh, finished off my Trinity Force that last time I did go back to base. I also did pick up a pickaxe, which will eventually be building towards my gun blade, which is going to be the next item I get. I'll obviously get a lot more, uh, well, I'll get a handful of damage going on top of all my abilities when I build that, because... Jax, if you haven't already found out or don't know, is decently hybrid. Um, I'm going to jump in here now. There's Ninja makes a mistake by not coming back here to help. Because now, after I kill him, he's going to come in to help because Ali gets here. Anyways, that's fine. I'm not going to complain about their stupidity. Now I'm going to kill him for his stupidity. Come here. Alright, now I have to focus Alistair. Oh, and Brand's showing up. But you know what? I'll take another kill. That's three of them. And now I'm going to die to this because the stupid alt is bouncing around and it's Brand. He does crazy damage. But that's fine. He's going to get killed, I think, by Fiora? Yeah, there it is. And Blitz is going to die to the tower. So they worked on Blitz for basically nothing. All right. Good to know. All right. So I got half of my uh, Gunblade. After I'm done getting my Gunblade, though, I will have plenty of Lifesteal. I'll obviously have a little bit of Spell Vamp as well, which will work on my Empower. And, um, yeah, we're going to be good to go for uh, item-wise. I'm going to have a handful of damage. I think I got 200-plus attack damage right now, and that's proccing with the Sheen. And then I have, is that 80? I can't tell. It looks like 80 um, AP right now, which is going to be good, too. Maybe it's 50. That number's tiny. Um, but, yeah, going to be doing all that. Going to be running around, killing minions like a boss, farming up, going back. Finishing off my gun blade, or not yet. See, don't even know. Here, I think I jump in and die. Yeah, ignore that. That was, we'll blame lag. I don't know what it was. It's probably stupidity. But that is going to happen. As for the rune page that I like to take for Jax, um, I go with a little bit more AD stuff. I go with armor penetration, armor, seals, uh, attack damage, quintessences. So here, I actually am going to jump back into the team. We're going to retry what I was going for. <laughs> I'm going to stun the Vayne and the Brand there when Vayne actually went invisible for all. I'm going to pick up the kill on Jin Zhao and uh, Ken's going to pick up the kill on Vayne. I don't know why we're focusing the tank, but Brand moves back in, so it's time to move in back towards him. And he's going to die. I'm going to pick up an assist, and then I'm going to pick up another assist on the Alistair. So we are going to kill four of them while their Nasus apparently is just farming lane. Which is smart. He should farm. It's Nasus, but you probably should help your team out too, bro gonna take the Baron again. They're not gonna get any of that nonsense. Um, and I did get the gun blade last time I did go back. So now I have way more damage. I have, what, yeah, 100 and, what is that, 258 attack damage, 130, 80, what did I just buy? Blasting one. 
Oh, because I'm building towards a Rage Blade now. Now, I know some people might get these items in a little bit different order. This is kind of a decently standard Jax build. And like I said, some people get more tanky. That's fine. Go for it if you want to. I don't need it because I don't feel like I need it. Um, here, I'm going to, you know, start proccing the Counter-Strike. I'm going to Leap Strike in. Get a stun off on a handful of them. Get rid of this Brand so he cannot do his massive explosion damage. I actually didn't Leap Struck out of his uh, damage. I did not want to get hit by that. I'm going to finish off Jin because he is not as good as me. And then I'm going to get into this fight. And I'm actually surprised with how long I stay alive here fighting Anastas. Uh, and then, luckily, I get bumped out. And I'm dodging. That was awesome. But I'm going to die anyways because he's angry. But I did a lot of damage to that alley, which Hoyt's going to luckily finish off so I can get an assist on. And he's going to kill the Anastas. I'll get an assist on that. I was staying in that fight and not running. Um, because I did see them, if you notice, my team was coming up from River, so I knew they were going to get there in time, but uh, I didn't know if I was going to live, but uh did just pick up the Rage Blade when I did go back. Um, it's going to be great. I got plenty of damage right now, for the most part, on the hybrid scale, at least. I just feel like I'm doing good. Did buy some armor as well, um, which is going to be helping me out for all types of reasons, such as, you know, negating damage. Big surprise. So... Got the armor. The item that I will be building this uh, chain armor is gonna be actually a um, gonna be a guardian angel. It's gonna be a good item for Jax. Obviously, you can see that I life steal pretty well in a fight, so uh, why not get back up and do some more damage? Especially if it's all you gotta do is just finish off somebody, or if you just wanna come back and help your team. So that's why I'm building towards that. I'm gonna pick up an assist on the Alistair right here. I'm gonna try to, or actually, I'll pick up the kill on the Alistair. That counts too. I'll pick up the assist on the Vein. Um, we're in their base. It's going to be GG in the next couple minutes. Um, at this point, we're just kind of delaying. We know we're going to win this game. Uh, but I think me and Hoyt are going to go take care of another tower. Actually, I'm going to jump on this brand and get my uh, Counter-Strike up. I thought he was going to get back. That's why I kind of moved away for a second. But I'll kill him on his the steps of his base. But yeah, going to kill the brand. Doing decent damage when you can do that in about two or three hits. So... Uh, gonna move in here, take the inhibitor. I think I'm gonna go back and buy my next item after I go through their jungle and steal some stuff. Um, Hoyt's gonna get a kill and then die. He has been shut down. I think, what am I, 14? 4 and 12 right now? I'll take their blue buff. Looks good. And maybe take some dragon as well. Now after I take dragon, I will go back. Um, as for my masteries page for Jax, I do like to go with just kind of a traditional, um attack damage page. What do I go? 2190 for the most part. Pretty simple stuff really. Me and Hoyt are going to take Baron. He's trying to solo it. I don't think it was going to work out for him too well. He would have gotten close but he's got a few few bloodthirsters. But uh yeah, going to wrap that up. It's going to be GG. Uh, Scion and I think Blitz are in their base right now. Scion just died though. Um, Ali came out here because I think they finally warded it. But it's going to be too late for them, and minions too OP in their base. So that's going to be game, guys. That's how I like to build Jack. Seems to work for me. If you like what you saw, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video.